Hello there, Capricorn friends. Welcome to your December 2020 reading here on my channel, Healing Tea Talk. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are well. I have a wonderful connection with Capricorns. You guys are my booze. <laughs> we just connect. I don't know if that's because I'm a Capricorn moon. I don't know if that's because one of my favorite people in the world, my sister is a Capricorn. I'm not sure, but we have a great connection, guys. So without any further ado, I'm going to get into your reading for December 2020. I'm going to start with the secret language of light. I use... I don't use this oracle deck a lot. It is jam-packed full of meditations, journal practices, and all kinds of stuff, okay? Um, and it can be a little bit more deep, I guess, in terms of oracle decks, but I just feel like giving you a sort of thorough insight into December 2020. Obviously, it goes into the sun, enters your sign this month Capricorn so that's exciting for you guys so I expect really beautiful and great things to come out all right so the first card we have is transformation and if I'm not mistaken I think Sagittarius got this card as well um number 19 so I will read that and what tell you what that means Capricorn so this card says suffering is optional okay and so this says you are experiencing an ending. You may be feeling a loss as a whole or a void in your life, Capricorn. This empty feeling is a space for something new and something better. A new way will reveal itself very soon. Pain is something that happens to all of us, but suffering is a choice. To suffer is to believe thoughts that are not your soul truth. Justifying, analyzing, and rationalizing will separate you further from your soul's wisdom. From this state, you will blame yourself, another, or an event for feeling angry or sad. Focusing on the suffering will only cement the ideology or belief that created it. In other words, you become what you fight against. Now imagine what you can create by focusing on all the beautiful aspects of your life and what you are good at. Focus on where your life is filled with things that make you smile. Change starts with you, Capricorn, and all your desires begin with a dream. Where will you place your focus tomorrow morning? This is really, really good. So the essence of this is basically that you can't change anything by fighting against it. Um, align yourself with the things that bring you life that are not draining. Um, and it says... Um, it takes the same amount of energy to be happy or sad. Your life stems from the beliefs you practice the most, but are they helping you? So for one day, don't assume anything about anyone or anything, even if you have experienced a person or situation many times before. Spend a few moments checking in with what you think is true and ask yourself, is this what I think it is? Seek clarity on what you think and believe. All right, beautiful. So one of the uh, one of my favorite quotes um, I heard um, Susan Taylor, the former editor in chief of Essence Magazine, say, um, "Pain is information, but suffering is a choice." Okay, so just keep that in mind, Capricorn, for the month of December. If you find yourself doing things that don't bring you joy, that don't bring you happiness, um, just keep in mind that. You know, pain is information, but suffering, staying in the same place, doing the same things oftentimes is a choice. Your next card coming from the Don Miguel Ruiz deck says, don't make assumptions. It's one of the four agreements in that book, but the guidance is to assume nothing. It says in any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think and we don't have to say what we want. We assume they are going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should know. So again, your transformation card and this card talks about not assuming anything, Capricorn, not making judgment, experiencing things, but not judging it. So we're not, we're going to try to not make assumptions the month of December. Okay. I'm going to get you a card from the Nature Whispers of Love deck. And then I'll get you an angel answer card and we'll do your tarot spread, okay? 
So three cards came out. I'm going to take them all. One says the heart of the matter, Capricorn. There is more going on than meets the eye. All right, your next card is physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. And then your final card says, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Number 41, 47, and number 22. So this Capricorn, you also got this card in the weekend tea for December 4th through the 6th, which was doing, it was a very caring and nurturing energy, doing random acts of kindness for people just for the sake of being kind, not expecting anything in return from people, but really just sowing seeds of good karma, okay? And then let's get you one other card from the Angel Answers deck. And you have here forgiveness. Now, this card, Capricorn, and you have communicate clearly. So I do feel very strongly, friends, that you could really feel like somebody understands what they did to you. Like to you, it could be extremely clear. Like, you know what you did. You owe me an apology, la, 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 la. But based on the guidance that you guys have gotten here, you have to communicate with people and let them know we're assuming nothing, right? We're not assuming that people understand the way we understand. So it looks like there could be a situation where there is a need for open and honest communication. There is a need to get something straight, maybe even a need for forgiveness from you or for you. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and do your tarot spread for the month of December, friends. Let's get into it and see what is going on here. Let's get the central issue and heart of your reading. It's way too many cards. All right, let's narrow that down, please. Holy Spirit, for my Capricorn friends, for December 2020. All right, Capricorn, so now we're going to change it so you can see the cards as they come out. So let's get your central issue and heart of the matter. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups, guys. So this is about being in an advantage position as it pertains to choices. This can mean you have options. There could be also a little bit of confusion. The Page of Swords is when you need to get more information on something, Capricorn, before you make a decision. Let's take a look at your challenge or crossing energy this month. Holy Spirit, what's the crossing energy for... My Capricorn friends. So the Four of Pentacles, guys, and this card can be when you are resistant to change. Um, you could either be holding on tightly to your money or you could be spending a lot. But it just feels like there could be sort of a resistance here. Um, and I'm also looking at the Chariot card, the card of Cancer, which is about making big decisions, wanting to move forward. Some of you could want to make a big purchase like a vehicle or something like that. And you could just be counting your coins. You could have a number of options of things that you want to purchase or buy here in the month of December. Let's take a look at your foundational energy, Capricorn. What is the root or foundational energy of this reading, Holy Spirit? Some of you could be, you know, we are in the gift giving season with Christmas and everything coming up. So some of you could be trying to think of what you're going to give to someone else. Very nice. Some of you could even be thinking about proposing. See how he's on one knee? Or you could be getting a proposal of some type. Let's see. What is the foundational energy of this reading? All right, so we have here the Justice card, Capricorn. That is a card of Libra. It is about balance and being fair. Um, and there could be the Knight of Wands is also here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like um, you could be tempted to make an impulsive decision or be required to make a quick decision with this Knight of Wands here. This is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But it can be rather non-committal. Um, let's take a look at your recent past. All 
Um, I feel like that Knight of Wands with this Justice card, guys, is also about not rushing to judgment. Okay, I think that's really, really important, especially with you guys getting the forgiveness card earlier. I think it's going to be really important to not rush to judgment. I also see the strength card and the eight of cups, which is very much speaking about having the courage and strength to walk away from something that wasn't fulfilling or did not serve you guys. All right, let's take a look at your crowning energy for the month. Crowning energy for Capricorn, the month of December 2020. All right, friends, you have here the Three of Wands, which is really having a positive expectation. It's very hopeful, very hopeful with your ships coming in. The Nine of Swords is more of a worried energy, and the Four of Swords is when you sort of take a time out or rest. Um, you could be worried because you haven't heard from someone that is at a distance from you, Capricorn. I feel like you're optimistic, though, or they are optimistic. The roles could be reversed. But somebody really hopes and believes that communication or something is going to, going to come in. And let's take a look at the outcome. There is a need for communication. I feel like either from you or to you, but communication... The need to communicate clearly is on the table. All right, and then outcome for my Capricorn friends. So friends, I do feel like if you haven't heard from someone or you're worried about hearing from someone, there is more going on than meets the eye. I don't think you could take it just at face value as though someone did not call you or it's like, hey, they're ignoring me. I don't think it's that, I don't think it may be that simple. I think there could be a lot more going on than you realize. All right, Holy Spirit, we are ready for the outcome. Okay, yeah, the chariot came out and so did the Ace of Swords which is I feel like you're going to get the go ahead. You're going to get some clear communication, clearing up miscommunication issues. Um, you're going to get what you need to move forward and be victorious there, Capricorn, which is really nice. Um, the eight of pentacles is here, which is about being diligent, consistent. This is your energy with the three of pentacles. So I feel like even if it's at work or working with other people, I feel like you are going to make steady progress forward. You could be studying something. I feel like you're increasing your skill set and your knowledge, but this is a very, very um, successful and nice outcome for you guys, okay? So I'm just gonna take the time to clarify this a bit here. Let's take a look at the seven of cups energy and see what these options are about. And, or, you know, maybe some slight confusion. What is the Seven of Cups about? All right, guys, so we have here the Five of Cups, feeling hopeless, and the Devil card. That is your energy, friend. So I'm wondering if you just feel like you know, I see three cups turned over here, but two are still standing. So you could feel a little bit hopeless. Try to watch your emotional state, Capricorn. Not let yourself get into where what you feel is a hopeless position. Your crowning energy, this three of wands, is about keeping hope alive, positive expectations here. Um, it does feel like there could be some kind of habit. Um, sometimes the devil card can speak of habits or um, vices or things like that, that could, um, but it, it can also speak of excess. So I feel like just be mindful to not get in your feelings or be disappointed because you're not seeing something clearly or seeing it through the, a toxic lens. All righty. Let's clarify this four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles the challenge for my Capricorn friends? All right, the Six of Swords, which is about transitioning, moving, moving to peaceful waters. But in this case, um, it could be transportation or travel. 
towards family or your home life. Um, and the sun card is here. So it's really beautiful energy. But I feel like you could be hesitant in some way. Um, you could have a fear of disappointment, Capricorn. Um, if you're thinking about going home to visit family for the holidays, I just feel like you, it's just a very down energy. And I do realize that Christmas time is not always happy for everyone. So, um, but traveling maybe could cheer you up. It's a, what is the justice card? Maybe there was an issue with family that makes you feel a little bit down at the thought of going to visit family. But let's take a look at the justice card. The emperor here. Now, this could be relating to an Aries or a father-like figure. And the queen of pentacles is your energy, Capricorn. But it could be, you know, this could be parents, right? Um, and it looks like there could be a big offer or a gift of some type either coming to you or from you, Capricorn. But it feels very familial with this uh, Ten of Cups energy right there, like a family situation. Yeah, there could be a big offer on the table. Let's take a look at the Three of Wands. What is that about? And the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Um, somebody could be worried about a, a parent. And have to travel to get to family. What is the three of... Thank you. So the six of cups um, can, of course, entail childhood memories. The seven of swords is when there is a hiccup or something in our planning, in our thought process. It feels a little bit like negative thinking or negative memories, Capricorn, getting in the way of your happiness. This Nine of Cups is here. So I feel like there's great potential for happiness, but I'm wondering what is on your mind and what are you guys thinking about? What's this Nine of Swords? Um, just be careful of taking yourself down this dark road Capricorn, I see the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. The Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's about showing love. It's about commitment. Um, some of you could be thinking about um, your, your values, things that are really meaningful to you. But I do see this beautiful Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. So for some of you, there is new love coming towards you. And it is a gift of love. Very nice. All right. And then let's clarify this Ace of Swords. Um, some of you, there is a person from your past, maybe that you do need to forgive. That could really be a thing. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to let them into your life, but I think there is a need for closure for something that could have happened that offended you or hurt you. Um, let's take a, long, a look at the Ace of Swords, which sort of implies, guys, right here, that their com um, communication issues are going to get cleared up. So the Hanged Man and the High Priestess are both major arcana cards that sort of speak to. There could be a delay, but to me, this is more of a Zen energy. It's being very balanced, spiritually grounded about something. And the Judgment card is here. This can be about awakenings or... Um, breakthroughs this could be the truth coming out right if there was something i feel like if you were holding on to something capricorn i feel like you are saying whatever it is that you need to say so if you were holding on to something if you were not sharing your feelings or something like that i do feel like it comes out right you do literally start to communicate clearly. I do think that there is more going on under the surface than you guys may be discussing. And some of that does come out maybe at a family gathering or a family event, or if you see your family for the holidays, I can see some of that coming out in this particular setting. Okay. Um, your other guidance card is number 11. Look to your inner strength because you are stronger than you realize Capricorn. And so, um, yeah, people may not know what they did to you. They may not even understand your why you're feeling the way that you feel. 
But I do feel like if you communicate clearly, there is a chance for reconciliation. There's a chance for happiness. There's a chance for things to get better. Okay. And I do feel a very generous energy coming about uh, Capricorn where you are doing something for someone. It could be parents or something like that. But I feel like maybe you're giving very big gifts this year or you're really thinking about it. Uh, whether the motivation is to make amends or just to be kind, um, you could be in a big gift giving mode this month. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this reading. I love you guys so much. Capricorn friends, take care and I will see you for the daily tea at three daily reading that I do each day to give guidance. All right. Don't forget to hit the join button. Join my channel, friends. If you want to be a part of the um, hump day happy hour we have each week.